These are the charge plates in a cathode ray tube. Here's one that's uh, on the top. Here's one that's on the bottom. And a stream of electrons comes through that point there. Inside of this case, there's a high voltage grid and a little device that gives off electrons. The electrons see the high voltage, they get accelerated, and some of them pass through a small hole in the center. The ones that pass through come and they will hit a screen. And when those uh, electron beams hit the screen, causes it to glow. If I were to apply a positive voltage to the top plate, as the negative electrons went through, they would be deflected. They would go upwards as a result of that positive voltage. On the other hand, if I were to put a negative voltage on the top plate, the electron beam would go downwards as a result of that. I can alternate the beam electrically, alternately going up and down by altering the positive and negative aspect of that beam. This is the fundamental principle in the operation of television. I get a device that causes it to deflect up and down, vertical. I can also do the same thing horizontally with two more plates that control the horizontal axis. And by combining the two, I get 45 degrees. Now as the charged particle travels through the air, kind of it acts like an electron going through a wire in as much as it creates a magnetic field around it. If I were to bring a magnet nearby, I could deflect the beam with a magnet. This is cool. Electricity and magnetism inexplicably connected. This is the basic principle for television. Excited electrons hit the screen causing it to glow. They also create a magnetic field which I can change with another magnet. Each one of these lines that you see is called a flux line or a line of magnetic flux. The closer together they are, the stronger the magnet. That phenomenon is known as flux density, the ratio of flux lines per given area. Don't do this to your television at home. It leaves a permanent magnetic charge which will uh, ruin your TV set. This does not happen with plasma TVs or LCD TVs, they work on a completely different principle.